Red Sox Thursday night, April 17, 2014. The Boston Red Sox come in the clutch again in nine against the White Sox in Chicago. Up to a 14 inning thriller early this morning at Sawyer Field in Chicago. The Boston Red Sox and the Chicago White Sox square off one more time at the U.S. Sawyer Field, aka the Old Comiskey in Chicago. Where? And for the first five innings, it was. A pitcher's duel between coach, between John Lester of the Boston Red Sox and Chris Sale of the Chicago White Sox. And in the transportation of three weapons that they say were used in the murder of Odin Lloyd. And Prosecutors believe Oscar Hernandez purchased the car last April. And John Lester here. Address in North Attleboro. The two men are not related. Eight innings pitch. Does not implicate or even mention. Seven hits. And one run and one earned run and. Strike on nine. And 2.17 ERA for Lester Wall. Chris Sale. Seven innings pitch. One hit, one run, one earned one, three bad balls and ten strikeouts and gave up one homer. And the Boston Red Sox would go on the board at the top of the sixth inning on a Zander Bogart's homer on a fly ball on left field. First homer of the season and it was one to nothing in favor of the Boston Red Sox there. But in the bottom of the sixth inning, the White Sox would tie it on an enemy and single on a grand ball to second baseman Dustin Madre and Talent Flower scores and Lurie Gussie the third in the game. Is down a one to one apiece. And it would stay that way until the top of the ninth inning when the Red Sox go on the clutch yet again. Top of the ninth inning, Dave Ross doubles on a grand ball to right fielder Dan Vicedo. Second double of the game of the season for Ross and Mac Napoli scores and Mac got the third and it was two to one in favor of the Red Sox. And then Jonathan Herrera singles on a bunt, ground ball to pitchers. Scott down the greatest Southmore scores and David Ross the third. Here's the Boston Red Sox. Defeat the Chicago White Sox at Comiskey Park. Three to one as they improve their record of seven and nine of the season. Future casting, you see that easterly wind bringing low clouds in, so temperature shouldn't fall too much more. One other thing is John Lester got the win. Touch of drizzle. And Chris Sale was saddled with a loss. And Koji, you are got the save. Just in case. Next up for the Boston. And the Red Sox will be back at the friendly confines of Fenway Park on Friday night for a four-game Patriots Day weekend series with the Baltimore Orioles starting tomorrow night at Fenway Park with John Lucky on the man for the Red Sox ball, Chris Tillman on the man for the Baltimore Orioles. Okay, let's take a look at our other scores around the majors here. In Philly, the field of the Phillies blink the line of Braves. one nothing here. In Detroit, the Detroit Tigers defeat Beat the Cleveland Indians 7 to 5. In the bullseye in Minneapolis, the Minnesota Twins sweep both games with the Toronto Blue Jays. First 7 to 9 in the day cap, and then 9 to 5 in the night cap. Here. Dan in Texas, the Texas Rangers defeat the Seattle Mariners 8 to 6. Out in San Fran, the Los Angeles Dodgers defeat the San Francisco Giants 2 to 1. Out in Petco Park in San Diego, the Colorado Rockies defeat the San Diego Padres 3 to 1. Out in Pittsburgh, the Buckles or the Pirates, which we call it. Pound at the Milwaukee Brewers 11 to 2. Out in DC, the St. Louis Cardinals blink the Washington. Nationals 8 to nothing here. In the Trumpet Tampa Bay, the New York Yankees blew out the Tampa Bay Rays. 10 to 2 here. And Kansas City Royals defeat the Houston Astros 5 to 1. And let's take a look at the NHL Stanley Cup action here. Bruins are going to be playing tomorrow against the Detroit Red Wings at police will release more details about the suspect and how they caught him tomorrow. The and here is it's a mystery tonight. Eight people were hurt in the blast. Attack. And let's take a look at our scores around the NHL and the Stanley Cup playoffs. Game one of the Western Conference semifinals at Scott Trade Center the St. Louis. The Chicago Blue Blackhawks in the St. Louis Blues to a 3-3 tie in game one of the 
Western Conference semifinals at 1456 New York time period. With 650 left in the second period, Minnesota Wild lead in the Colorado Avenge. Two to one. With 940 left in the first quarter in San Jose. San Jose shot clean in Los Angeles. Kings one and up in that game may be game one in the Western Conference Finals. And in Madison Square Garden in New York City. New York Rangers defeat the Philadelphia Flyers. Four to one. Bruins Red Wings. Game one tomorrow night at the TD Garden. How about the Rangers? Two out of three in Chicago. And now. They will carry the momentum into the Patriots Day weekend against the O's at Fenway. Now, 12 months later.